Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 9th through the 15th. Now my readings are love readings so if you are in a happily ever after relationship this reading probably isn't for you because typically you know it, it, these readings are for people that are looking for answers okay they're looking for answers because they're struggling they're either struggling in their relationship or they're single okay that's what that's what these readings are for if you're in a happily ever after relationship you don't need to come look for a tarot reading because you're already happy okay so this is for capricorn sun moon rising and venus If you'd like to book a reading, the information is down below in the description box. I also have Instago if you have an iPhone. This is for Capricorn. Okay, so the Two of Swords, somebody's ignoring the truth. Keeping the blindfold on, even though there is truth, okay? They know the truth, but I choose to ignore. Choosing to ignore the truth, blocking the truth. Could be involved with a Leo. Something that maybe, I'm not sure what this is, but there's some sort of recognizing, recognition that something is over. Because this is, a, this is an ending that frees somebody. This is freedom, the Ten of Swords. This is a new opportunity. The Five of Cups reverse is a new opportunity, realizing that there's another opportunity, a new opportunity for love. Again, a new opportunity for love. I'm not sure if you have a fire sign in the mix, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but something's going on here. Ooh. Something's going on behind the scenes. I think the truth is about to be revealed. That may offer you a new beginning, Capricorn. So something may be ending that brings you a new beginning. Okay, these are both death cards. Death, death. I mean, hit this death. Okay, but this is freedom. This is liberation. Somebody is becoming free so that you can have a new beginning. Now, this is represented by Scorpio. This is Pisces. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Leo. There's an opportunity for victory and success with this new beginning, okay? Your challenge is this other person that is smothering, uh, weak. So, yeah, you're dealing with somebody who's codependent. That's the challenge. What I think this is, it looks like you have an opportunity for a new beginning. But there's another person in the mix that doesn't want you to have this new beginning. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody, I think there's a person that doesn't want you to get their... You know, they're, they're jealous, they're holding this back from happening, whatever this is. I'm going to zoom this in. Um, the, queen of, the queen of wands in reverse is somebody that is a very sneaky, sneaky individual, um, doing things behind the scenes, um, dishonorable, okay? So just beware. You, I think you have somebody in the mix that is up to no good. Okay, they don't want the, you to have this new beginning. Somebody doesn't want you to have this new beginning. They don't want this. But I think that you're realizing, you realize the truth. There's a new opportunity here. 
I feel like there's definitely an opportunity for love. Maybe it was a missed opportunity in the past. Now you have a chance to get it back. Whatever this is. I feel like... <clears throat> your challenge is this... Your challenge is... It are these two cards, okay? Other people see that there's another person in the mix. They see that, you know, there's a lack of confidence as well. There's a lack of confidence. There's a lack of courage. There's a lack of uh, somebody doesn't want to be alone. This person is very codependent, does not want to be alone. Um, not strong enough. Feels like they can't take care of themselves in the reversed, Okay. Interesting. So this is for Capricorn. Hmm. I want to know what this is right here. Str this person is struggling to let go. But the real this is a reality check. The reality is. Is that there's a there's a release going on here? Somebody is being released. The truth is coming out. Some sort of revelation is happening. Some kind of truth is coming out. There could have been some cheating. I'm not sure. Either way, some some kind of truth is coming out in regards to security, stability. Love with the Four of Cups reverse love, and the and it's, it's been blocked. Maybe this is the person, this fire sign that doesn't want to accept the truth. Somebody or you, somebody doesn't want to accept the truth that something is over. It's really, really, really over. I'm not sure what this is. This is liberation. This is freedom. The Ten of Swords reverse is liberation and freedom. So Capricorn, there's a new opportunity here for some for love. Okay, there is love here. There is love, that's for sure. But somebody doesn't somebody is in the way. I'm sorry. I don't I'm sorry to say that, but it is what it is. I mean. <sighs> reluctant to see the new approach. Somebody is reluctant to move on because there's been some lies here. What the hell is going on? Clinging to the past. Somebody is involved in a situation that is less than peaceful, less than harmonious. There's a lot of um, troubles. I don't know who this is. And somebody, but somebody doesn't, somebody wants to cling to it. So you're dealing with a clinger. You are. You're dealing with a clinger who doesn't want to let go. But I think that you are ready for this new beginning. You are. You the, the overall outcome is a new beginning. Is a release. Releasing something that you know you need to release that isn't stable. Whatever this is, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. He so yeah, I think that there's somebody in the mix who doesn't have your best interest at heart. This. I mean, the King of Swords in reverse is somebody that is very hurtful, harmful, abusive, mean spirited. You can't, there's, there's unlogical, you can't, illogical, you can't, you can't even get through to this person even if you tried. There's, there's an opportunity for new love here, Capricorn. A union, a marriage. But you, somebody hasn't been logical. That's what this is. They haven't been logical and they've been ignoring the truth about where they really want to go. There's, a, there's a somebody else in the mix here. This, there's an opportunity for love to be had, but somebody else has to go. There's, there's, a, there's another person that's in the way. And the truth is, somebody has been deceiving themselves or letting themselves be deceived. But be careful because it's going to come out. It's going to come out. Whoever, if this is the cross watcher, 
or whoever. The truth is absolutely going to come out and free somebody. It is. Free somebody from wherever they've been stuck. Somebody has been stuck. But if they're about to free themselves, they're about to let go. Who is this person that is about to let go? Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody is about to be let go. Right now, they're thinking about it. Somebody is thinking about it. Taking some time to think about love. Taking their time to think about what, what they really want. Somebody wants a new beginning here with you, Capricorn. But they have to drop a burden first. They have to, they, something has to go. Something does. I mean, this is another 10. So, so they have to free themselves from one situation so that they can come to you. This is for singles or for couples. This could be for couples that are going through a rocky relationship. Or if you are in a happy relationship, then this reading is not for you. Yeah, somebody is giving up on a situation, not wanting to work on it anymore. I don't want to work on this because it's not, it's too heavy for me. There's too many burdens. There's, there's too much. And I know that I have somebody better suited for me, so I, I have to let this go. So it feels as though somebody is making progress towards finding their soulmate or going back to their soulmate. There's a new beginning here coming for you, Capricorn. Because wherever, whoever this person is that's getting out of a situation has been walking on eggshells, you know what I mean? They've been criticized and misjudged and, and, and this could be you. There's a lot of criticism here. Somebody, there's, there's one thing that needs to go so that you can find love and then love is here. Love is here. There's love. There's two people in love. You're one of them. So I feel as though there could be, you know, somebody even from your past that is coming back. There's a new opportunity. Somebody from your past that is coming back, perhaps. They realize that you are better suited for them. They've been in denial for quite some time. But now they recognize that you are better suited for them. And they have to drop this heavy load that they've been carrying around. They have to stop juggling. No more playing games. It's time to take that step in your direction. So it appears that they, they, know, they see your beauty. They see your light. So I feel that, you know, and if, if, I mean, this could even signify a pregnancy. Either way, on the horizon. But anyway, I feel as though this is an opportunity for a birth of a new beginning. A new beginning. And this could be with someone from your past. It could be, could be somebody new. But I think it's somebody that you definitely have known before. And there's somebody else in the mix that doesn't want this new beginning for you. But I do feel like this other person is going to drop that, drop it. They are. Because they see that you're very well suited. They see that you're your beauty. They see that you're light. They see that you're love. So I feel like there's an opportunity for perhaps a reconciliation here or a new love to enter your life. That you've been trying to hold back on. You've been trying to put off. Perhaps because you haven't completely ended something with somebody else. So you've been putting this person off. You know, maybe you've got this ex or or another person in the mix somewhere that is influencing this new beginning with whoever it is that you're meant to be with. There is another person that's influencing this. And that person has to go. That person has to go. And I think the other person 
somebody is going to go. I think this is going to be dropped and you guys will eventually unite. Could be this month, could be this week, okay? Because I see the lovers. I see, well, this isn't the lovers, it's the two of cups, but they're lovers, they're in love. So you do have a love. Somebody that you may have known when you were a child or you may have dated them before, but somebody has got to free themselves from one situation first, completely free themselves. It's been hurting them. It has. So that's what I see for that. I'm going to get an angel romance card. I do feel like there could be an opportunity for some sort of reunion here. A rebirth. Okay? Because this is a birth and this is a birth as well. But, you know? So I think there's a birth, a rebirth, a reconciliation. I really feel like this is a reconciliation. I don't know why. Now, reconciliation could be with somebody that you've known before. doesn't have to be somebody that you've actually, you know, have been in a relationship with. But I, for many of you, it is. It's a reconciliation. Or it's somebody that you want to be with that you couldn't be with fully because of this other person that wouldn't let you go or wouldn't let the other person go. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level commitment. Yes. This is your soulmate, Capricorn. This is your soulmate. You have a soulmate connection here. We're going to get one of these. I think you know who it is, too. I do. I think you know exactly who this is. This came out. Turn on your heart light. And that is turn on your heart light. There's no doubt about it. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect in a time when you experienced love. So this could definitely be a reconciliation. Reflect on the time when you experienced love. I think it's with, with, you know who it's with. Put it that way. This is your soulmate. What are you waiting for? Somebody is in the mix. Somebody is holding you back from being with this soulmate. Why? Are you weak? Not judging anybody. Weak. So anyway, this is what I have. Um, I'm Capricorn Moon, so I'm sure not judging anybody. Um, especially my Capricorns. I'm just saying we all have moments of weakness. You need to find the strength. To get this soulmate. Turn on your heart light. And that's what I have. Talk to you later.